Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install an HID kit in your BMW E30, but this tutorial will also apply to many other cars as well. Now, I got a crappy HID kit for like 20 bucks from eBay, and uh, I don't know, I might post the link down in the description, but they're really easy to find, they're all over the place, so it comes in a box like this and I've already taken the contents of the box out um, what comes in the box are these things so you have basically there's two main components to this you have a ballast and you have a bulb now keep the bulb encased in this uh, plastic casing because you don't want it to touch anything or to get dirty because uh, it will break really quickly if, it, if that happens now, ballasts come in different shapes and sizes, so uh, these are the slimmest ones that I could get. And um, performance-wise, they're worse, but I just, basically I just wanted to get a really cheap and uh, easy to install kit because uh, I wasn't planning on doing this mod right now, but uh, I just managed to find this kit at a good price, and so I decided to go for it. Right, so you'll need a place in your car, uh, in your under, in your uh, engine compartment, sorry, to uh, mount your ballast, and uh, you want it to be close to to your bulb because, as you can see, you get a very limited uh, wire here, so you can't mount it too far away. Of course, you could get like extensions and everything else, but and I'm sure in more expensive kits, you would get. Uh, more ample wiring. Now, um, one thing that I've never seen people address in uh, HID install tutorials is what's you know what's the big deal between getting like a one hundred and fifty dollar kit and a twenty dollar kit like what this is. The difference is in the in the ballast. Uh, the fact is that for example OEM ballasts, the ones that come uh, pre-installed with Toyota, BMW, Mercedes, you name it, they um, they warm up really quickly and uh, so that's and they're, they're also a lot more reliable so that's really what there is to it so these ones for example I've watched a couple of videos um, these ones warm up quite slowly so you know you turn your lights on and it will take a good 15, 20 seconds for them to uh, to warm up to full power. But, you know, I'm not too bothered about that. Alright, so first thing you want to do is open the hood. And disconnect your battery, which I've already done, but yours probably would be uh, connected right here so you and you always disconnect the ne negative cable not the positive one so taking it off and now we can start installing our um, HID kit so first thing you want to do of course as I said before is um, you need to find somewhere to put your ballast and so the place that I'm going to use is well, if you remove this back cover for the lights and you see there's this hole right here so that's where I'm going to mount my ballast, ballast to uh, I don't like drilling any holes myself I try to use whichever ones there were from the factory so yeah now what I could do technically is install it the way it is now but uh, what I think is better is to take out this uh, whole um, headlight unit and so that's what I'm going to do right now alright so the next thing you want to do is remove the front grill this grill piece um, so there are two screws that you need to undo one here and the other ones right here which I'll get to once I put this into my box of screws. A 
are okay. Now, as you can see, the piece is quite loose and I'll just need to remove these trim clips on top, which I'll do with a flathead screwdriver. Open the hood and these will come right off. And now this piece is ready to be removed, which for that I'll need to put the hood down again. Okay, so there we go, and now you're left with this rather ugly and incomplete looking front fascia. There we go. Uh, you will need to remove the cover for the headlight, which is the one on the left here. And the way you do that is you just unscrew this top piece counterclockwise. What you'll see here is uh, a couple of tabs. The ones that uh, hold your headlight, the bulb in place. So um, I'll need to remove the wires from the bulb as well as the tabs and hold it in place. And I'll show you how to wire that up to the HID kit. All right, so uh, here I've got my HID bulb, which I'm just gonna put to the side. And uh, then I'm going to remove my headlight bulb. And um, place it in some paper towels just in case I want to reuse it. I don't want to get it dirty. So to remove it, all you do is remove this retaining clip, which is right here. So press that up and that should fall off. Uh, right, then you want to remove these two wires. Okay, so now comes the, mo uh, the most difficult part in this whole installation process. It's installing the new bulb very carefully in order not to touch anything with it, so. There we go. I'm gonna remove this white piece and this piece of plastic too. All right, and now you also, you wanna make sure it doesn't touch the edges because that would definitely shorten the lifespan of your bulb. There we go. And now to put the retaining clip back in its position. All right, that seems to have done it. All right, so the bulb is in, and uh, I, I haven't touched it with my fingers. It has touched the sides slightly, but uh, in my case, that was unavoidable because of how tight of a fit it was. Okay, now you wanna just either break this piece off or thread it through like I'm doing. And um, right, so your new bulb is in. All right, now then, I went to my uh, local hardware store and I bought a screw with a uh, Two washers, a uh, nut, and this, there's this one second, let me try and show you. There's this weird looking washer that's uh, offset and it acts like a spring. And that's just to keep the tension so that, uh, you know, when the car shakes and vibrates, um, so that the nut doesn't become loose and falls fall off. Uh, alternatively, you could use a uh, nut with a rubber band around it. Alright, so to install it, as I said, I wanted to install it into this um, hole into, in between the two lights. So I'm going to uh, put my ballast in from the other side and uh, attach it. Alright, so now I've attached the uh, ballast and it sits really nicely in the headlight assembly. I don't think it should uh, burn anything or melt any plastic. Uh, and. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. Now comes the difficult part though, because as you can see, to uh, wire it up, you have to connect a uh, positive and a negative to uh, these two wires. And uh, these are the original positive and negative cables from the, from the light bulb. So one of them is easy, right? One of them is your uh, yellow wire right here. Uh, but the other one is this brown one, and that's just you know hard tethered to the um, to the uh, 
to the uh, headlight. Alright, so I've thought about it slightly and uh, unfortunately there's no way of doing it without cutting this brown wire. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a nice clean cut right here and then uh, I'm going to stick, uh, well basically since this is a male connector I'll need to put a female connector here and so I'll put another male connector on this one in case I want to get on this end in case I want to go back to my um, original halogen light bulbs. Alright so I just finished uh, crimping and as you can see I as I said I attached a female connector here and that will go onto the male connector sorry it's the negative one so it's gonna go onto the male connector of the uh, and onto the HID ballast and uh, first step is to connect this negative to uh, this negative brown uh, in cars means negative and now I think we're ready to put in the um, this connector into the into the ballast now you want to make sure uh, that this little tab here aligns with your uh, tab here so that you get your positive and negative the right way around. Right, so I've connected my uh, HID ballast. Uh, I think it's connected correctly. I'll only find, uh, find out once I uh, switch everything on. But now all that's left to do is um, to connect the yellow connector to the cap, uh, which I've just done. And um, then there are two more. You see these uh, connectors they have to be uh, connected to the corresponding ones for, uh, coming from the from the ballast so I'll do that now uh, try everything out power it on and, and victory so I've connected my battery back up and as you can see here um, this is the side with the halogen bulb the original one and here is my brand spanking new HID this one is um, 6000 K bulb and I really like the look of it actually. Now I know that I did a relatively poor job of explaining the wiring in the video so I uh, drew up a diagram in Photoshop and uh, I'll walk you through it right now. So basically you have your yellow your positive cable coming from the battery then you connect it to the red cable coming from the ballast uh, that goes into the ballast. The ballast works its magic. I think uh, that it actually just steps up the voltage. And that comes out uh, as your, through your red cable and uh, goes to your xenon bulb. Then your negative returns back to your ballast and back uh, through the black cable coming from the ballast which gets connected to the ground cable and back to the battery and that completes your circuit. Right, that's it for this video. I hope you found uh, information here quite useful and uh, I encourage you to like the video and subscribe for more similar content in the near future. Uh, right now I'm actually working on doing an overall overview of all of the light upgrades that I've done to my car and uh, pretty soon I'll also have a speaker install video as well as a subwoofer uh, install video on my channel. That's it guys, I'm out.